हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ फिक्रांत राउत एंड वेलकम टू एट अनदर वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेब डेवलपमेंट टूल्स डेट वी आर गोना बी यूजिंग इन अवर अपकमिंग वीडियोज ओके सो लेट इज डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद अवर टूल्स सो आई हैव लिस्टेड डाउन फोर इंपॉर्टेंट टूल्स डेट वी आर गोना बी यूजिंग सो द वेरी फर्स्ट एंड बेसिक टूल डेट वी आर गोना बी यूजिंग थ्रू आवर होल जर्नी इट इज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सेकंड वन इज गिटअप थर्ड वन इज क्रोम डेवलपर टूल्स एंड फोर्थ वन इज अनस्प्लैश एंड सम गूगल फॉन्ट्स सो वट इज दिस विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड इज अ प्रॉपर आई डी ई सो इन विच वी कैन राइट अवर कोड लाइक इन वॉट एवर लैंग्वेज यू वॉन्ट लेट से वी वॉन्ट टू राइट एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट और एनी अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज जावा सी प्लस प्लस पाइथन कोटलिंग रूबी so we can write any of the code any any code language in vs vs code and it can run that particular uh, let's say programming language with the help of some extensions or some extensions only no yes so how how to use this visual studio code so for downloading it first you need to go to the any browser you need to just type visual studio code and after going to the very first website you can see there is one download button over the left side here so it it is very simple to download it after downloading you just need to like in, you just need to click next 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 and you just need to give them give the permissions to visual studio code and it will get installed okay so i have visual studio code over here and why it is like and why it is the most like uh, like development tools let's say so it has more than like thousands of extensions are provided here okay so you can search for any extension it will like you will get extension for anything like for anything any plugin let's say for any language you have all extensions present over here apart from that you can see there is one source control one search option search option is is the it's a basic functionality but it also has the auto auto suggestion auto completion facility let's say i have opened this index.js file and i i wanted to log something so i will just click log and you can see i have i am getting the console.log actually okay so how how it is possible it is giving you the pre written suggestions okay so for whatever language you are using it so it will give you pre written suggestions so that that is a short introduction about visual studio code so as we progress along with the in this course so you will get to know more about the secrets of visual studio code okay so the very second tool that we use that is github okay so for understanding github okay so for just to give you a short idea so github is a code hosting platform or for version tool or and collaboration so basically it is used for collaboration so let's say i am i am working in india and one of my like project mate is working in from some foreign land so let's say i want to collaborate with uh, him on some particular project so github plays a very vital important role in that and how how does it happen so let's say you can consider github as a cloud cloud let's say all the folder or folders and files of my particular project are placed over in one of the repository in github repository you can considered as a folder that you have in our like your pc okay so i can access that uh, particular uh, repository as well as he can also access that particular repository in this way we can collaborate over the, uh, over the github and also we can like add new code we can delete new code and we can deploy deploy our site using github on any another development like deployment platforms let's say on aws so just to give you a short idea it is basically used for collaboration over the projects okay and after that we have another another tool that is our chrome developer tools so chrome develop developer tools basically to give you a short idea so chrome chrome developer tools you don't need to you like you don't need to download it or install it it is simply present in your chrome browser you just need to inspect it and yes so whatever you can, you are seeing here like console sources network performance memory applications so these are all 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 the part of chrome developer tools so you can actually change your website live by like by by by, by changing some of the elements here okay so this is basic chrome developer tools and for debugging also you have this uh, let's say if you are going to sources on network okay so you can actually debug you can actually debug your whole whole code using this particular uh, like developer tool okay and after that the next tool that we have 
so we will talk about this chrome developer tools as we are progressing in our in our sessions in our videos okay so we need to debug our code as well we need to see the console we need to deal with this network tag what is this network tag what are, what are these sources console elements so you know okay so no issues no worries so the next tool that we are going to see is our unsplash so what is this unsplash so unsplash is nothing but a simple website you can see they see unsplash.com so on unsplash.com you can find out like you can see there are different like whole or millions of images are present but they are in hd format so for your website if you want any of the images then you can download you download the images simply from here only so yeah it is used for getting images on 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 anything on any topic you want it will like get you the very beautiful beautiful images let's say i am using street photography so you can see on street photography you have this beautiful pictures okay after that the last tool that i can say is google fonts okay so how to get this google fonts so google fonts nothing but uh, the styles that we are gonna use for our text so google fonts can simply be accessible by going visiting to this site fonts.google.com and in fonts.google.com you can select any family that you want so i am just, i have just selected this poppins family and you just need to import or import link copy this code and import this code in your html tag you might have guessed that this link tag is used to ref, ref, like for adding styles to our uh, web page hai na so yeah so you can just copy this link and you can just paste paste it and you can use the tag in any way you want you can add different styles and fonts colors icons all are icons are also present here so you can use whatever you want so yeah so i think yeah yes so i think these are the different types of tools that we are going to be using in our upcoming videos and yes this is a short a very short introduction about the tools and that's it from from my side today thank you so much guys so i will see you in next video until then bye bye